That live report, the race for mayor in Springfield shaping up to be a challenge between city leaders. The field of candidates grew again today with the addition of current state legislator Orlando Ramos. Ramos facing two Springfield City councilors and a local doctor who grew up in the city. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle has more on how the race is shaping up so far. Orlando Ramos, Jesse Letterman, Justin Hurst, and Dr. David Champy are now the four candidates who have officially thrown their names in the half in the race for the mayor of Springfield. All of them eyeing the seat filled by the longest serving mayor in the city, Dominic Sarno, who is expected to seek re-election. Ramos officially announced his campaign on Thursday. I have a proven track record as both a city councilor and as a state representative. I'm very confident that that message is going to resonate with a lot of people. He is well known in the community as an elected official, something Hearst and Letterman have as well as current city council members. Western Mass News caught up with both of them as well. It's good for the city of Springfield. You know, I welcome Councillor Ramos, or I'm sorry, State Representative Ramos into the race the same way I welcome Dave Ciampi. My team and I remain focused on building our campaign and working to spread our message across the city of Springfield. But what do these candidates need to win over voters? Western New England University political science professor Tim Virgilotti tells Western Mass News some of the topics the candidates may focus on. It's about municipal services. It's about the cost of living. Um, you won't see much in the way of culture wars. Virtualati says he hasn't seen a mayoral race with this many candidates for years. Virtualati tells us name recognition will be a big factor in making it past the primary. If you look back on past preliminary elections, voter turnout's really low. It was about seven and a half percent in the preliminary in 2019. So uh, you don't have to get a lot of votes. You just have to get a few more than the third, fourth and fifth place finishers. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Glenn Kittle.